fakes and back down it since the fox shooting club today. Uh, it's uh, New Year's Eve. I hope you've all had a good Christmas. Uh, you've probably not seen me too much recently. I've not been very well. I had a Christmas bug, so uh, that's why I've not been uh, doing any filming. Uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to uh, do a test on the new Daystate 18 grain pellet. And I'm going to compare it to the Air Arms 18 grain pellet. See if the uh, I've also okay. got the uh, GSB Hades pellet, which I'll be comparing to the uh, the Daystate Range Master Sovereign. Uh, range I'll be shooting at will be 25 yards initially, but we'll just see how they compare. I know I know the Hades is a very accurate pellet at to, you know normal ranges to be honest. Uh, coming up though. And future programs will be the new uh, Warrior air compressor, uh, a new wind speed ometer, and uh, among other things. So uh, you'll have to watch out for those. Uh, so I hope you all had uh, what you wanted for Christmas guns, pallets, whatever it is. And uh, I look forward to uh, another new year with lots of new uh, ranges of products coming out from the uh, manufacturers. So we'll get on with the test. Just uh, apologise for the uh, range camera uh, being out of action at this point. I pressed it thinking I was recording it, but I actually pressed the uh, pause button. Uh, so I started off firing the first shot with the Sovereign Hunters just to see where the uh, point of impact was, and uh, as you can see. It was uh, at the five o'clock position. So taking that into account, I adjusted my uh, scope settings, fired another shot, not realising that I double fed the uh, magazine, so they dropped off. So uh, having continued, uh, you can see that the uh, adjustments were right, and I was now in the point of uh, aim and uh, solve the problem Yeah, so that's uh, the two groups there. Hmm, interesting that. They're good groups, but I've got a feeling the air arms have all gone through the same oil, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see, what I'm going to do now, if you look to the top and the bottom of the target on the right and left hand side, you'll see a little five pence piece. I'm going to shoot at each one of those five pence pieces now, with the same pallets again, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how it does. OK, 
Okay, now four punch piece at the bottom, air on. Is that dropping low? And again, not a bad group. So now I go for the uh, the day steaks. The sooner GSB do you're on tinlers like they promised, the better, because I'm fed up with these stupid bloody tape things, you know, good. Okay then, day state, solving all to say 80.13 grains, 5 patch of pea, top of that. Okay, so what can you say about that? It's all inside the five punch PEs. Best group of the lot, really. Probably just opening into it now, but uh, yeah, happy with that. So uh, that's 25 yards. The Abbey of Pallet don't do too bad at all. Obviously, there'll be a bigger, bigger shot curve to this push the extra weight but uh, I would imagine that's 35 40 yards it should be quite a good pallet just getting your old over right right then next up are the lighter pallets or the medium sized pallets which are the Hades and the sovereigns and we'll see how they do next okay then we're up at the target end the results pretty good results actually so uh, first two groups now some of these shots like the one there and the one right down there I think there's two little holes here I think that's where I, I fired two in the same shot that's why they dropped off the final group pretty tight there look some of the air arms. Most of them for the same hole on the first group. Finishing up there. After that one, I did, did make adjustments to the uh, escape, and that's why I ended up there. I'll make some more adjustments now. I'll uh, lower the uh, elevation by probably about uh, eight clicks to make up for the light pellets, and we'll see where it goes from there.
Okay, I've lowered the uh, animation by eight clicks and see what happens. This smile look now, I don't need to know, it will just do it. First up will be the Hades and they weigh 15.89 grains, exactly the same. Well, not quite, these are 15.9, but not much in it, is it? Need is it might be all the pellet you'll ever need because uh, if you want to it's got the expansion if you a target shooter it's still very accurate so it's not a bad one to uh, try actually if you've not tried it yet and that's why I'm comparing it to a, a standard Diablo right. Yeah. Top target. Okay, that light away. Didn't need to adjust it much, did I? Come back to the right. to the adjustments. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, what more can we all do, mate? Alright, just been testing some out. Tested the uh, Day State Sovereign Hunters out. Alright. Oh, Comparing them to the air arms. Not much in it, to be honest. I've never tried them. their air, what, them air arms, you know, in any of my guns. Haven't you? No. Oh, they're, good, they're a good pallet. No. Oh. Just uh, wraps in it to Yeah, it's just turned them up, yeah. So I've nearly done that, to be honest. Been down long then, booked up? Uh, not really, probably about 20 past 8 I got here. I watched that Andy's review on the uh, Red Bull. Oh, he didn't talk gear so. Did he? Yeah, fully fair. Absolutely best gun in the world. Action, design, beauty. Absolutely right in there. As far as electronics go, it's got an advantage. <laughs> Because uh, the lock times a lot faster. This is not you not it's not an ammo firing forward like on most guns, which can upset the shot. It's just yeah. an electronic uh, valve, isn't it? Yeah. The only thing that I've got are they their maidies? Yeah. I've just bought a tin. I tell you what. Just Dave, ordered a tin. These are all the pallets you need. Oh, there. They're just as accurate as Sovereign's right Oh, there. Like, as far as I can see. What about <laughs> long range? Long range as well. Yeah. Exactly. It's the, the best pellet, I'd say. I thought that, that the actual dome on it, when being opened up, would no, just would, that's would, no, would I thought, affect I thought the, the shot. I thought the same, but obviously it, it don't. Uh, I'll tell you another pellet that's similar to this in, in the way it performs, and that's the Barracuda Hunter Extreme. All know, right. Try some of them before yours call. Yeah. Look at these rats. I don't want too much. There you go. The element, the element drapers, you know. Hades, do they? Yeah. On impact, yeah. they're not. Mm -hmm. The destroyers, they, they, basically, when they hit the prey, the I, front of that hangs up like a gum dum. I actually did a video. I said the shot this morning. They're very good. 
Yeah, I've just shot these now at, at 25. And They're only 15 quid delivered. Are they? When you think about it, ours are 14. And the AGs yeah. are 15 delivered. Free postage, 14.99 free postage. That's bloody good, because that's what it costs in the shop, 14.99. <laughs> <laughs> You're saving yourself a trip, aren't you? Oh. Right, I'm going to go for the five pence piece bit on that on the top right. How far is that? 25. Uh, just for the uh, windage a bit. Sitting in the pole, not in here. Let me be good. position on the five P It's got the ability to fire French piece shots at 25, so. What is it, 14 shot? Eight, no. it's only eight on this. It's the old, uh, <coughs> oh, it's the old Ellie magazines. Yeah, it's one of the Frederick Axelson designs ones. Uh, made in Sweden by Axel, it says on it somewhere. SMK just bought another pistol out, didn't they? Did you see it? With a camouflage stock. Yeah. Is that a CO2 one? No, it's PCP. Oh, right. What do you know? Uh, and it's got a longer barrel. And the stock is actually fixed to the gun. So it is a rifle. Yes. I know the one you mean now. Under 400 pounds. Uh, uh, 300, I don't think, think they're about 300 quid. Yeah. Well, a, is it M&M? M&M in the shed? Yeah. Yeah. So it started off with one and, and it was... CO2, so they've gone PCP now. Aren't yeah, they? yeah. Oh, that's good. You get more consistency with that. It was reviewed on uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, a bloke shot it, I forget who it was now, I don't think it was under. Shot it and it rated it really high for the money. It says for the money, it's bang on. Under 500 quid, it says. A bargain. Start, start off with something like that, he said. Uh, Range Master Sovereigns at 15.9 grain. Lower target. That one's blowing it over to the left still. between the two as you can see so ladies are a good palette when you compare them to a standard Diablo how's the family rock alright all right, yeah how's our Jake in these days ok it's like me, me and Kay we've been ill over Christmas I ended up taking her to her hospital, she had an infection. There's a lot of that going around, you yeah. know, a lot of people's getting colds and terrible. 
Uh, I've just had a really bad cough, couldn't get rid of. <coughs> Alright, five pence a piece. Too much in it to be honest. I say we've got a wind on today, that's affecting the shot. But uh, yeah, that's the JSB ages and the uh, Range Master sufferings. That completes the test for today. Okay, back at the business end, as you can see, the ladies, a couple of those shots. On the left hand edge were initial shots and I uh, adjusted the scope and I did one at five pence a piece so not bad there going on to the uh, day state range master sovereigns pretty tight group again and I blew out the five pence a piece there I think that uh, edge on the ball that's been clipped that was a that was me. But at uh, 25 yards, they're doing well within five pence pieces, really. So that is the test.